This is Minecraft, but with tiny worlds. Today, we're going to be shrinking down in size and entering into our worlds the size of a single Minecraft block. From modded worlds to planetary worlds to even rainbow worlds, I'll be adventuring through different types of tiny dimensions, each with their own challenges and secrets inside. So, can I survive? And what's the final tiny world I can enter? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, yeah, the worlds are definitely a bit tiny, guys. I'm going to guess that's going to be a village. This is going to be a bunch of planets. And I don't even know what that is. But how this works is that I have a teleportation unit that can send me inside of this world and apparently I have to find a key in each world to get to the next room with even better worlds. So without further ado, let's go inside in three, two, one, right click and it worked. Okay. World number one village, new loot inside, but where's the key? Okay. I guess this is going to be our first tiny world. It definitely is a village. Like I guess, and I got to find a key. So where would a key be for the first one? Oh, that's a broken texture and that's a trident. Okay. I guess broken textures give you chain mill chest plate and trident. Don't mind if I do. I'll definitely take that. No key or anything. A diamond. I mean, Okay, that's a really weird looking cow. I'm throwing guys. I'm actually throwing. Where is this final key? Oh my goodness. I cannot find my way around guys. I feel so dumb. I went into this chest, but I didn't see there was a chest right here. And just like that, we finally found the first tiny key, which what happens now that we have it? Oh, one down three to go. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. So first tiny key. Oh, and a world complete. What's in each planet? Oh, wait. So that's going to be for the next one. And we got one key. So let's go ahead and put in key one. And I guess for the next tiny world, we're going to be going to some planets. Well, here we go in three, two, one. Right click. World two planets. What's in each planet? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're in the middle of space now, it looks like. There's even stars and stuff. Nice. And how the heck do I get to the other planets? I don't really have blocks besides some wood. Oh, wait. A teleporter. Is this like an underpool? Do I just go over there? Okay, so I can literally teleport from planet to planet. So what's inside of these guys? Oh, wait. What the heck is that? A spark. What is a spark? Not really sure. A mystical green petal. I guess we'll grab it. Why not? And a crushing hammer slams the ground to hurt surrounding mobs and send them flying. I think that's definitely better than a trident. So let's go ahead and grab that. And hopefully no mob spawn. But for now, let's go from planet to planet and see what we can do. Turquoise cobblestone. Or wait, no, turquoise. Okay. Mystical blue petals and a diving helmet. Oh, what the heck? I'm going to guess I can go underwater with this thing. Is this better than that? Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, why not? Let's wear it. All right. Uh, now to the red planet. Give me that good loot, please. Oh, blocks of redstone. A life arc. Decreased fire damage when at six hearts or lower. Rarity rare. Okay. I mean, why not? So far, these tiny worlds are pretty good. Let's keep going. As long as I don't summon a boss or anything, I should be fine. I mean, tiny worlds, they're pretty good so far. As long as we don't die, we're good. Let's see. Okay, I did that one, that one, that one. Let's go to that planet right there. Oh no, it's out of range. Oh, that one isn't. Wait, I think I just ran out of my teleporter. Why did I not grab more than one? Wait, do I have enough blocks to get over there? I think I should, right? Yeah, yeah I should, I should, I should be fine. This is only a tier one planet in the first room, so I'm kind of curious what is the next room gonna bring? Teleporter again, and now let's go right here. I don't think we made it to red shimmering mushroom. Some more of the spark stuff. I don't really know what that does. And an alchemy scroll. Wait, what? Okay, that's kind of cool. Diamond axe. Yes, I used to be a diamond axe, and then boom. Okay, so this is the crushing hammer. Oh gosh. Oh, that's sick. What the heck? Okay, and then the alchemy scroll. I right click this. Wait, what did we just do? Wait, wait, what is it doing? It drops decaying spikes in a lineup from above the player. Oh yo, that is insane. Not bad. Okay, so let's get all the way back with our teleporter real quick. All right, and before I leave, I'm gonna real quick grab like one more teleporter in case I need it for later because we don't really have a water bucket, and I feel like we might have to get into some more challenges later. But this is the last one I think, so it should be in here right? Oh, yeah, and it is. All right, not bad. We got a tiny key, but is that a lightsaber? Holy laser blade does eight damage and 2.8 speed. I think that's better than the hammer. And just like that, we get the tiny key and I think that might be it for this area. And world complete. That's going to be key number two. Not bad. And now we only have one little world left, which I actually have no idea what this is going to be. So without further ado, let's go inside in three, two, one. Food defender. Oh no. Can I survive? Wait, 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 wait. This is not good. If you guys don't know what the frost maw is, then pretty much know that if I wake this thing up, I'm dying in one hit. Okay, this is actually not good. Wait, is that McDonald's? Why am I going into a tiny McDonald's world? I mean, it's cool, but this makes zero sense. Okay, hey, uh, you over there? Just just stick over there, keep sleeping, and we're good. Oh, cash register. Oh, and look at that. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. It's in the floor of the tiny key. Is there anything back here? Donuts! Okay, yes, I'm a big fan of donuts. Some melon smoothies. Hold up, I'm gonna take the smoothies. Why not? Uh, my goodness. Wait, let me know what your favorite food is in the comments down below, because there are so many options right now. We, we got the epic bacon. Wait, is that a cheese block? No way, there's a cheese block. Block of cheese. Literally a block of cheese. Okay, guys, so this should teleport me as soon as I get it after like around five seconds. So what if we grab that real quick and then try to wake up the Frostmall for content? Hello, Mr. Frostmall. How's it going, buddy? Are you gonna wake up?
wake up. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, where's the TP? TP? Okay, yes. We're good. We're good. Okay. But finally, world complete. And that is going to be our third world. And now with those three done, I think I should be able to open this, right? Okay, there we go. And this is a completely brand new room. We got a creeper room right there. Oh, that's actually really cool. It looks like a cave or like an ore. I'm not really sure. And a rainbow. That's cool. Oh, man. Which one do I start with, guys? Um, The creeper doesn't look very safe and we don't have the best loot. But I mean, why not? Let's go ahead and do it in order in three, two, one. Hey, okay. And it worked. We got world number four, creeper. What in the creepers? That is a lot of TNT. And that is one big creeper. Wait, is this a dropper? Wait, I don't even have a water bucket. Oh, gosh. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to fall. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Oh wait, this dropper is evil. It's lapis blocks. Okay, whoever did that does not like me at all. What the heck? And what the heck is this place? What is that? Wait, let me grab some of that TNT real quick just to see what it is. Fire blast TNT. Oh my gosh, I definitely don't want to blow this up. Impact TNT. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely don't want any explosions right now. It looks pretty safe for now though. Never mind. Okay, 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 okay. It's only a few creepers. As long as they don't explode, we should be good. Can I one hit them with this? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was way too close. Um, Okay, that's way too many creepers. We're going inside. Close the door. Never go back. And I guess let's climb the creeper. I'm going to guess maybe the key's up here. It would make the most sense. So, okay, so far, not bad, to be honest. Oh, okay, we reached the top, and there's some chests. So, kitty slippers. Creepers avoid the wear. Oh, wait, that's actually perfect. Wait, so I can just right-click them? Hey, I got some slippers. Tipped arrow bomb. Oh, wait, actually, let, let's grab that one, too. That's kind of sick. Snowball bomb. Wait, there's so many bombs. I kind of want to blow them up. But we found the tiny key. Grenades? Okay, we're at least throwing one grenade. One sec, one sec, one sec. I have an idea, I have an idea. Hey, please don't. <gasps> okay, okay, that was shrapnel. Oh my gosh, I thought that was gonna be really bad. And now that we're done there, let's go ahead and grab that tiny key. And I think we're done here. And we're all complete. So let's get straight to the next one with the mining one. And then I guess we can get to the rainbow road. But before anything, let's go ahead and put key one. And here we go into the next one in three, two, one. Whoa, wait, where am I now? Super cave, world number five. Is it dangerous inside? Okay, so it's nighttime outside. Wait, what even is on top of here? I'm gonna guess it's the entrance to the world? Oh, it is. Okay, so we're like in one chunk or something. Oh, and it's literally a cave. Oh, wait, there's diamonds here too. Okay, so we got diamonds, emeralds, and is that ruby? Wait, pyro. Don't know what pyro is, but maybe it's my key to actually getting out of here early. So let's get that pyro. And also, I think I just might have emerald with a stone pickaxe. I don't think that's normal, but I'll gladly take that. Let's see if we can do this with the pyro. Oh, pyro pickaxe, mining level iron. Okay, I like that a lot. And real quick, can we mine the diamonds? <gasps> no, pyro doesn't mine diamonds. Oh, what a scam. What about with emeralds? What if we make a pickaxe? Oh, that's a good pickaxe. Mining level obsidian. Can we mine diamonds now? Okay, there we go. Okay, we can finally get some diamonds before we get deeper in the cave. I definitely want to get some diamonds. So real quick. And what do I need that's diamond? Okay, I definitely need some diamond leggings. That'll make things a little bit easier. And that's pretty much all we can make. So I guess let's go deeper into the cave now. Nothing bad so far. It did say an ominous message when I got in here. What the heck is this stuff? Moonstone block. Not really sure what that's for. Uh, What about this? Uh, this doesn't look very safe. Wait, what the heck? Closer to godliness. Gem of Ratlantis. Yeah, I'm not taking that. That looks like uranium. We, we don't mess with uranium here. Oh. Okay, what are those guys? They, they look friendly, right? You guys friendly? Yeah, yeah, they're friendly. Okay. Oh, wait, diamond blocks. Okay, um, I'm gonna mine this real quick, guys. Uh, my bad if you guys were living in here and I'm stealing your stuff, but I'm just gonna, you know, borrow some stuff and I am gonna just get out of here. Wait, th this guy's kind of leading me right here. I, I just murdered him. Anyways, there's a chest at the bottom and there we go. We finally found the next tiny key. I think we got everything we needed from this place. So any moment now, we should be back. Hey, and there we go. Okay, world complete. Key number two done. And now for the last key of this area, Pretty much the rainbow. Don't know what the rainbow is all about, but I'm kind of curious. So let's go inside in three, two, one. Right click. And now we're inside the tiny world of Rainbow Road. Can I survive the fall? No, I forgot to make a water bucket. How am I going to get to the bottom? This might be the end of us. Okay, I can't cheese it. Let's just go. Oh, gosh. Why do we have to keep doing droppers? Oh, wait, I see the water. I see the water. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we made it finally. And please be the key. It's not the key. It's a rainbow sapling. What the heck is a rainbow sapling? Where can I find the key then? Do I have to do like another parkour or fight some boss? I think I see it. Okay, let's get up here. Please be it. Nope. Anywhere else? Oh, wait, there's another one over here. Hey, okay. And there we go. We finally found the tiny key. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I guess we're done now with the rainbow road. And there we go. World complete. And now that we're done with those three,
those three, I guess it's time for the next area. So without further ado, what's the next set of tiny worlds going to be? We got gold ore, diamond ore, redstone ore, and now we have, I have no idea what that is. Is that like a weapon? This looks so weird. What about this? Is that Star Wars? Loki, that's kind of cool if it is Star Wars, but let's continue on. And oh, that wait, that's a lollipop. It might be a candy land. So without further ado, let's go and get to the next one in three, two, one. Oh, okay. Ultimate parkour. Don't fall. What's at the end? Oh my gosh. Wait, what the heck? Okay. This is actually so cool. Okay. So I guess we're doing a parkour suddenly. Oh my goodness. This is not a normal parkour. So here I go. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 This one isn't too bad. What about this one? Oh gosh. Why is it so difficult? Oh my gosh. I thought I fell. Okay. We're good. Next part. And now we got to go through these things, which I guess here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Four, five. And okay. That here is done. And now a spitty thing. Oh, let's get on that. And there's a chest right here. So wait, is that, is that an Exostorio suit? Oh no, it's a slender chest plate and some diamond armor, which I think I need, right? Oh yeah. Oh, and that's 12 armor compared to that. Yeah, why not? And now, okay, there we go. Okay, lucky block. That could be very bad or very good. So we're not going to open that up just yet. Let's real quick put that there. And what about this? A refined radiance glive. Deal more damage when you're in a lighted area. Well, this might not be the best area right now, but it might come in handy later. So why not? Let's go ahead and grab that. Go back real quick. And oh gosh, wait, wait. Oh, 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 that's sick. What the heck? Okay, so we finally made it to the end. So what do we get now that we completed it? Uh, Bunny Hoppers increases the wearer's jump height and grants immunity to fall damage. Oh wait, that's sick. Cool. In the middle, we have uh, another Bunny Hoppers. And on the right, we have Bunny Hoppers. And finally, the Tiny Key. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I guess we're done with the parkour. Hey, there we go. Okay, world complete. Let's go ahead and put the first key in. And now something I've been looking forward to is actually this Star Wars looking place. So let's get to the Star Wars place in three, two, one. Oh, wait, and we're in the middle of the sky. Star Wars, reach the black hole. <gasps> oh, that's sick. We have broken textures, but wait, is this like a parkour? I gotta jump on the little crystal things. Oh, it's literally Star Wars. What the heck? Luckily, we have the bunny hop thing. But what the heck? This is sick. One bad jump though, and we're literally dead. So, oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, just go right here. And it said black hole. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna guess that's the black hole. I mean, good enough, I guess. Let's get down in. Luckily, we get no fall damage with the bunny boots. And inside, we get a star caller. Wait, what the heck is this? Uh, does this do anything? Not really sure, but it's about to be daytime, so we should probably leave very soon. But the main thing we got was a tiny key, so let's go ahead and grab that. And I think we might be done with the Star Wars area now. And there we go. World complete. Let's go ahead and put the key in. And for the final area, we're going to be going into this candy cane candy thing. So I guess let's get straight to it. Next tiny world in three, two, one. Hey, okay, there we go. Candy land. This looks totally safe. And it's literally just a bunch of candy. Wait. Oh, what the heck? What the heck is this thing? Oh, wait, it's not dying. Wait, does this thing not die? Holy, that takes so much damage. That is terrifying. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, so this is definitely not a great place to be in. I thought it was gonna be Candy Wonderland, but instead we're literally running away from a bunch of chests. Oh, candy bag. Uh, does this do anything good? Oh, we get jump boost from that. That's kind of cool. Is there anything good in this area that isn't a chest trying to kill me? Oh my gosh. Wait, OP candy bag? What does the OP candy bag do? Mama? I am just trying to get some candy right now. Wait, flying candy? What is that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, flying candy. Oh wait, so this kind of makes me fly. New plan. I think it might be time for a fire blast TNT. Oh gosh, that might be a bad idea. Go on TNT. Wow, that was actually useless. Okay, um, what about tipped arrow bomb? Go on tipped arrow bomb. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was kind of useless. Oh wait, I have a grenade. All right, guys, desperate times calls for desperate measures. Grenade, go. I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. I am literally gonna die from a bunch of chests. OP candy bag. Let's eat that real quick and get out of here immediately. Where is the key? I need to find the key right now. Guys, I think I am forever trapped in the candy world. Wait, is it up there maybe? <gasps> yes. Okay. Finally, we found the tiny key. Let's get out immediately. Okay, world complete. I am never going back to that candy world anytime soon. Final key done. Let's go inside. And now it's a completely different type of room. That's a pirate flag, I think. That's a rat holding a torch and cheese. And then we have a tiny nether. Well, I guess let's go ahead and start with the pirate world right now in three, two, one. Oh gosh. Okay. The Kraken. Can you find the treasure of pirate island? Oh my gosh. That thing is so huge. Oh my gosh. I did not sign up for this. I did not sign up for this at all. Okay. So something pirates, tiny world. World. Why is there a Kraken in here? There's nothing of use in there. What the heck? Oh, I got stuck. Wait, okay. I think I'm about to fight the Kraken. Oh gosh. Okay. I barely do any damage. I am supposed to be finding some treasure or something and I'm being chased down by the Kraken. Oh my gosh. What do we get ourselves into? Oh wait, what are you guys? Wait, is that a weapon? Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh my gosh. No, no. Chill, chill out, buddy. What the heck is going on? 
good. But we did get the tiny key and a golden hook. Increases experience dropped by creatures, especially those you have not recently killed. Wait, do I have a hook now? <gasps> I'm a pirate. Nope. Nope, I am not gonna be taking a crack and spot egg. We see how that thing is up there. And I literally can't even explore the place, but wait. Bottle of strength? Wait, what? Five minutes strength too. Hold up. Before we get the key and get teleported back, let me try one more time going up there and seeing if I can fight the Kraken, because strength two is really good. And if we can do good damage to it, we might be onto something. It keeps healing though. What about the alchemy scroll? Well, here it comes. Go on, alchemy scroll. Does it do anything? I don't think it does anything. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, nope, no, 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 no. We're teleporting. The Kraken's Coming. The Kraken is coming. I'm just gonna loot up what I can, plunder the ship, and we're getting out of here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait, wait, wait. What if we go up there? Okay, I don't want to overuse the teleportation thing, but let's go over there. Let's check out this place real quick. Is there anything up here? Soup? Really? I did all of that for soup? Oh no, 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 no. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Literally some more pirate stuff. And rolls. Okay. What's up, buddy? Okay, teleport real quick. I'm out of teleportation. We gotta go. Okay, tiny key. There we go. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. World complete. And I am never going back there again. First key done. Let's Let's throw it inside. And now for the next one, it's looking like a rat place. So let's get the teleportation unit and right click. Rat Lantis. Rats, what's in the cave? Oh, okay. So I get the build right there because we literally have a Statue of Liberty as a rat. It said what's in the cave. So is there like a cave I got to go inside? Is it this cave? I mean, it looks like the only cave. Oh, wait, what the heck? Wait, what is that thing? Hello? That's a lot of rats. Well, down I go. How's it going, buddy? Oh, they're not friendly. Okay, okay. Nope, nope. Never mind. We, we got to fight the rats. Wait, what the heck is this thing? Is this like a little mini boss? They don't do that much damage, but I mean, it's definitely easier than fighting the Kraken. Oh my gosh, they take a ton of hits though. I have strength too right now. Oh, I did it. Hey, okay. King of the world achievement. Was that like the king of the rats or something? Oh, Rat King's crown. Can I put that on? I am now the king of the rats. Might be a good time right now to say, go ahead and buy the merch. And here's a quick advertisement on the merch. Stay tuned. <laughs> An accessorial poster. Let's sign that real quick. There we go. And just in time for Christmas. Get your poster today at accessorial.shop. Okay, so inside of here, it looks like we just have cheese blocks and stuff. Okay, what, what what type of cheese is this? So this is a normal block of cheese. Can I make this into cheese? I can make that into cheese. That That is honestly amazing. A gilded rat flu? That's kind of cool, but I mean, I kind of got to find the key. So where exactly is the key to get out of here? Uh, Maybe here? A uh, rat flu? Okay, so it's definitely rat stuff, but I guess we got to mine it. In here to get the key, maybe? Boots of Ratlantis. Okay. A spectral rat will protect you at all times and keep enemies at bay. Uh, sure. Oh, that's sick. We got one little rat around us. Nice. Okay, so I definitely gotta explore this little rat maze then. Oh, wait, maybe here? Hey, we found it finally. Okay, tiny key. That should be all we need. And now we can get out of here finally. And there we go. World completed. And the only tiny world left after this is gonna be the nether area. So let's go ahead and three, two, one, nether. Something feels off. Yeah, this is not the nether. Oh, I mean, we got the portal. So is it just like the normal nether or what's up with this? Oh, that kind of makes sense. Okay. The nether is kind of boring to be honest. So we're going to get in and out of here very quickly. Let's head down real quick. Is it in here? Oh my gosh. That's some good armor. Crystal heart increases the wearer's maximum health. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of more health. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Why not? One netherite inca. Yes. I love me some netherite. We have a lucky block too. Might as well. Why not? Let's go ahead and break this thing. What does it give us? Oh, I'll keep... I don't want to talk about it. We don't talk about that. No. Protection to diamond boots. Oh, we now have Ratlantis boots. We don't need that. I think we might be done here, honestly, but I don't know where the key is. Is it like down here somewhere? Oh, wait. Chest right there. Wait, what the heck is that location of a chest? Yeah, I gotta mine this, actually. But you guys already know me, Fast Obsidian Miner. Hey, there we go. Okay, so, um. Oh, and there we go. Okay. Finally, tiny key. Let's get out of here. Honestly, the nether was pretty just normal nether. And we're complete. And I think that might actually be the last key. With that done, I think we're done with this area. And what's the next room gonna be? Oh, whoa. Okay, that is. Is void and three more rooms. This is a ice looking room. Then we got, is that like a sky block? Oh, that's sick. Okay. And what the heck is this? Looks really creepy in a way, like stalagmites and stuff. So I guess yet again, let's go to the next tiny world and we should be definitely suited up enough to actually fight whatever's inside. Here we go in three, two, one, right click and blue skies. What's inside the dungeon? Wait, what the heck? It looks like I'm not able to progress here yet. Wait, what the heck is going on? Wait, what the heck just happened with that world? Maybe I got to do something else first. I guess let's get to the next one in three, two, one, and hopefully it doesn't kill us. Okay, Skyblock, huh? What are these islands for? <gasps> oh, that's actually so cool. What the heck? We got sand, TNT, okay. And the thing that was killing me earlier, I think. Okay, maybe we'll get something from there to ho that'll help me, but... Oh, and it's a Skyblock stuff. I'm really bad at this, so I don't know how to do it. Is it like this? Oh gosh, I'm gonna be roasted if I do this wrong. Okay, okay, guys, guys, guys. So I put that there and this should be it. Hey, I did it, I think. Yeah, yeah, that, that should be it, right? Let, let, let me real quick mine that so I can confirm. 
Okay, let's, you know, comment down below the timestamp and just say really good job, Nestor. And let's like, uh, let's pretend that never happened. Okay, we're just going to go from skyblock to skyblock and have a great time. Actually, wait, I feel like I'll get enderpearls more sooner or later. So let's just go ahead and do that. And wow, third eye. Wait, what the heck is this? This is like, wait, did I just put that on? Oh, what the heck? That's so creepy. What does that do, though? I'm not really sure if I should have that on, but I guess we do. Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe I should just bridge. Helium Flamingo allows the wearer to swim in the air for a limited period of time. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. This literally is the goofiest I've ever looked in a video. What the heck? Okay, uh, I'm going to bridge with TNT. This might not be a good idea, but definitely isn't a good idea. I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's just get to the next area real quick. And honestly, I still don't know where the key is. Key right here? Nope. Uh, obsidian, though. Okay, I'll gladly take that obsidian. We can bridge with it. Oh, and there we go. Okay. So we got the tiny key. I think we might be done here because honestly, I keep on was dying in the island. So let's go ahead and grab that and we should be done there. Hey, and there we go. Okay, world complete. Let's go back. And I'm pretty sure we only need one key for this area because I wasn't able to complete that area. So let's real quick throw that there. But I'm kind of curious. What exactly is this area? Not really sure, but let's go inside in three, two, one, right click. And there we go. Deep dark i have a bad feeling about this oh wait what i guess let's real quick get our pickaxe out uh okay deep dark like is that like the warden stuff oh gosh why is it dark in here i thought night vision oh no that 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 isn't good one second let's turn off the brightness real quick that's better okay all right buddy what's up oh this is a bad idea wasn't it okay yep yep there's no way i can find this guy right now okay we gotta find the key soul bound spear sure why not is there any key anywhere wait what if i do damage here oh we did damage oh wait i might be able to kill him actually all right, buddy, I'm actually going to kill you because there. I, I feel like I get the key either from him or somewhere around him, and there's no way I can get rid of him. Oh, let's go. Okay, three more hits, I think. Yes, we're almost done. Wait, what if I drink this real quick? Oh, there he goes again. This might be it. And yes, finally, the first run not down. And did you have the key? Oh, wait, we got two things. The axe of a thousand metals, which I'm going to guess is his sword. That's pretty cool. And then we got the raw helmet. Never breaks. I mean, why not? Oh, we look sick now. Okay, but we literally didn't even get the key there. Okay, game. Where is the key? Wow. Literally, as I say the word key, we find the key. Umbrella can be used to both as a shield and as a glider. Oh, what the heck are we doing? Okay, well, we're just vibing. I'm finding a lot of brand new items today, but we finally got it. Yet again, another tiny key, which we really don't need, but we're done here. And we're all complete. Okay, but let's get the key inside, and now we just go in. Oh, wait. Okay, now it's a lucky block room. One keypad and two options for a tiny world. Left or right? Pick one. Good luck. Oh, I mean, that's a pumpkin Halloween one. And we got a normal one. My gut's telling me the normal one, so I guess why not? Let's try that one. But I guess we'll see in three, two, one. Lucky block village. Welcome back. You chose correctly. Hey, okay. So I think we did it, but it's literally the starter village in the first world. But now with lucky blocks, that's kind of cool. Well, we can break some lucky blocks now. Oh, wait, actually, because it's a repeat of the previous thing, the key might be in the same spot again. Hold up. Oh, no, it's not. If I was a key, where would I be? Give me one sec, guys. Let's try to find the key. Is it in here, maybe? I like how I just jumped to the second story. I'll win lucky blocks. And oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So we finally got the tiny key and I think we might be done here. I I got all the lucky blocks I'll ever need, which is the fish one. So I guess we're done. And finally, world complete. Okay, let's put in the key. And would this work now? Hey, okay, it does. All right, not bad. So, oh, we reached the end. The end, the final world. Oh, man. Okay, it really is the end, too. Well, here we go in three, two, one. Okay, that worked. The end, the true final boss. Oh, oh. I don't think we're fighting the dragon today, guys. I thought we ended up getting away from this guy. Well, I guess I gotta do it either way. Let's get the best weapons we have. Okay, the frost mark can literally ruin my game so quickly. Let's get a smithing table ready just in case, too. Netherite leggings, boots of Atlantis, and a raw helmet. Well, here we go, guys. Oh, no. Hello? What's up, buddy? Oh, he froze me. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. He does so much damage so quick. Oh, wait. We're actually doing pretty good damage. Go, Dynamite. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. He's one hit. Wait, did we just get him? Yes. Let's go. The Dynamite actually worked. We were in a bad situation there for a second, but just like that, that is going to be it for Minecraft, but I can enter into tiny worlds over the world is tiny. So with that being done, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. Go check out my merch if you haven't already. And here's a video just like this one. Go click it. Bye.